looking for a hidden gem just outside of Charlotte that's not too busy yet, you've come to the right place. Today, we're gonna talk all things Harrisburg, North Carolina. My name is Brandi Reinschmidt. I'm a local realtor here in Charlotte, North Carolina with Nestlewood Realty. And if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you can continue to get notified when we post new videos every week. So Harrisburg is located just northeast of Charlotte. It's gonna take you about 35 minutes to get into the city center of Charlotte. If you're looking to go to the airport, it's going to take you about 45 minutes to get to the airport so it can seem like a little bit of a hike but I promise you everything in Charlotte is at least 20 minutes away so it's really not that bad why do I say that Harrisburg is unlike any of the other suburbs in Charlotte it still truly does have that small town feel it is still very much so family centric and when I say small town feel I don't mean like oh it's got the cute little historic main street downtown with the general store and it's like huge for its history nope that's not what I'm talking about I actually mean it is a small town town. Harrisburg only has a population of 20,000, which has actually doubled since 2010. In 2010, the population was only 10,000. Here we are in 2024 and we have reached 20,000. So it does seem a little slow, but honestly, it's one of the things that I kind of like about it and it will continue to grow and it will get a little bit quicker at growing. So while it's not known for shopping, it's not known for its amazing restaurants, it's not known for its small town feel or its cute little main street area, what is it known for? Well, it's known for its parks. I am actually standing in probably one of the coolest parks in the Charlotte area, in my opinion. Like if I had a kid, I would drive to come here. Honestly, I would. We are in the middle of Harrisburg Park. So this recently got renovated between the years of 2019 and 2021, and they added this playground, which you see here, this huge splash pad. I know in this video, it looks like it's a blue, just like probably tennis court at this point but it's not, it's a huge splash zone for kids. And right in between the two is a huge covered picnic area in case you wanna grab lunch or something and the parents can easily get to both sides in case they have two kids running back and forth. And it's not all just for the kids. Right back in the back of the uh, covered area, there is an amphitheater. They have an amphitheater here because in the summer, they do concert series called Rock in the Berg. It really is so cool here. They've done an incredible job at making it super fun for everybody. Another reason why this park is the heart of the city is they do all the summer events here. They do like a big 4th of July celebration. They do Rock in the Berg over there. They do a Halloween trick or treat thing. I mean, they do so much here at this park. It really is, it just serves that, like, look, there's the sign. I don't know if you can see it, Rock in the Berg, it's coming. So this really is the heart of it. Behind me is the public library and soon to come, they are putting a YMCA here on the property of the park. Such an incredible area. If I had children, I mean, shoot, I might even go on the splash pad myself. It is kind of hot out here today. Aside from Harrisburg Park, we have a few other parks in the area. We have uh, Stallings Park, which is pretty similar to this. It has like tennis courts and it's got t-ball uh, fields. It's not quite as active as this, but it does have a playground. It does have a couple sports fields in it. Then we have the Farm Mill Pond Park. That one is actually registered as a nature preserve. So that one's, if you want serene and quietness and boardwalks, um, that one has it. it. It does too have a playground, but it's just not as new and at you know the same scale as the one here and then you also have veterans park veterans park is for sure the smallest of them it's only one square mile but it is built to as a memorial to the men and women that have fought for our country so it truly is a really pretty park they've done a great job about it you know they each serve different things if you're looking for more t-ball and more volleyball you're gonna want to check out stallings but if you just wanted to spend the day here and cool down Harrisburg Park is truly the place to go. So enough about parks. What else does Harrisburg do? Well, like I said, it has that really good sense of community. We talked a little bit about the events that they host here and the events go on there throughout the year. They do a tree lighting in the area and it really is a community event. The whole community comes together for it. People do move here for the schools. Harrisburg um, is in Carabas County. They are not in Mecklenburg County. So they do have better school ratings in Mecklenburg County. If that's something that's important to you, be sure to go check out greatschools.org. You've got a handful of schools to choose from over here here so while Harrisburg isn't that big you have a ton of options so we're gonna go visit Harrison Village here in just a little bit so you can take a look at it and see what's there so a pro well Harrisburg has done a really good job at keeping it local keeping it small the city of Harrisburg works really well with local business owners in supporting them so you will oftentimes go through these shopping plazas or the restaurants that are available to you and you'll see that they are independently owned and they really do have a local feel to them now the con of that is if you want to get to your large Target or you want to get to your Walmart you are going to have to drive a little bit. I think the closest one 
might be in Concord, which is about a 15 minute drive. So pro and con, I don't know, you choose. So we're gonna go take a look. We've kind of, I'll show you around the park a little bit more, but then we're gonna change location so I can show you some of the homes and Harrisburg Village. So let's go take a look. So while we're on the way to our next place, I'll give you a little bit more information. Part of why Harrisburg has a small town feel to it is it's done a really good job at keeping out big box stores like you don't have a Lowe's you don't have a Walmart you don't have a Target I mean you do have Publix and Harris Teeter you do have your grocery stores because people need those in addition to that you also have a Lowe's food which there are only three of them I think located in the Charlotte area and one of them is here in uh, Harrisburg so that's really cool you know they have done a really good job at keeping these large big box stores out now a caveat to that that I will say is we did just get a Panera and a Starbucks up here so we don't know how much longer that's going to be that way but for now we have a, a small town feel and it's kind of really cool to see all right we are here at Harrisburg Village no not the town center but the community Harrisburg Village this is going to be a relatively small community just over 100 houses it is built by Eastwood Homes. They're offering both the townhouses and single family. It's still in construction, as you can see behind me. Um, single family homes are ranging from anywhere from five to six. Townhomes are ranging anywhere from 300 to 400,000. What is the best part about this community? A, it's new construction, so builders are always offering incentives, but two, the location. We are just literally a minute down the road from the Harrisburg Town Center, and there's a walking trail. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's right there. That walking trail goes to the town center. So you can just go walk, you can go grocery shop, you can go grab lunch, you can go get your nails done, whatever you wanna do. What a cool location. And it's only like four minutes away from Harrisburg Park. So everything is really right here in the heart of it. We'll uh, drive around, give you a little bit of a look here. As you can see, you've got the amenities behind me. So always good to have a pool in your neighborhood, especially on a hot sunny day like today. All right, y'all, here is where we are ending our tour of Harrisburg. We are in probably one of my favorite communities that Charlotte has, or the Charlotte area has to offer. We are over in Bloom. Bloom is located about nine to 10 minutes outside of the city center. So not quite the heart of Harrisburg, but honestly, nine to 10 minutes is not bad. To get to like Lowe's grocery store is about seven minutes. So still really, really, really close. You can see these gorgeous, gorgeous homes behind me. They are Taylor Morrison and MI Homes are the ones built in here. Bloom is separated into two parts of the community. You have North and South. There's about 320 single family homes here. Um, one portion of the community is a little bit smaller homes, about two to 3,000 square foot. They are going anywhere from, I had to write this down because I couldn't remember it for some weird reason. They are going anywhere between like four to 500,000. And in the other side of the community, it's larger homes, anywhere from 3,000 to 500 or 5,000 square feet. And those are, those are ranging honestly right now between like the high sixes to the high eights. So this is an incredible community. The HOA fees are only about 800 a year and take a look at the splash pad and the pool behind me. Great, great amenities, great community. As you can see, kind of like larger home sites, larger lots, everything is beautiful, well manicured. You've got cul-de-sacs in here. And again, guys, you were right just so close to Charlotte. I know sometimes when you're looking at a map, things can seem so far. I'm gonna say it again. Everything in Charlotte is at least a 20 minute drive. So if you really consider it, 30 minutes is not that far. To get a little bit of space, to get a little bit of um, kind of community, small town feel, if that sounds like your vibe and you're considering relocating to the Charlotte area, or if you're in the Charlotte area and you just wanna change, reach out to my team and I, we would love to connect with you. We'd love to take you a larger tour of Harrisburg or any other surrounding city of Charlotte. That's it for now.